By the end of this video, I hope you understand how your body burns fat, how to lose weight, and hopefully you share this video since diabetes and obesity affects pretty much everyone's family. So fat is a form of energy on your body. Energy your body wants to use, but also store when there is no energy available. A baby human is born with about 15% body fat, higher percentage than any other species in the world. So we're designed to burn fat for energy. So for example, if you have rolled oats, which will raise your blood sugar higher than yogurt, you'll need more insulin for this meal than this meal. One of insulin's main jobs is to control your blood sugar. And actually our body's designed to switch between energy sources, carbs and fat. And when the insulin's low, you're burning fat for fuel. When the insulin's high, you're burning carbs for fuel. And the higher your insulin levels go, the longer it takes for it to come back down. And if you keep eating every two to three hours, especially foods that spike your blood sugar, increasing your insulin puts you in fat storage mode, increasing your hunger, causing you to eat more, increasing your body fat, that body fat creates even more insulin, creating more storage. Now you start developing skin tags that look kind of like that on your neck. Pigmentation, because insulin causes growth. Along with the darkening, you get cravings for sweet and salty foods because your body's stuck in storage mode, so you want more energy. You feel tired all the time because you're stuck in storage mode. You have increased hunger and thirst because you're stuck in storage mode. You start noticing brain fog, anxiety, depression. You get tired, especially after meals. Your blood pressure may start to creep up. You're constantly hungry. Since insulin is the master hormone, it leads to a hormonal imbalance, problems in women, problems in men. All this goes on to increase even more fat storage, creating more insulin resistance. And all you're being told is, count your calories. But foods can be the exact same calories, but different effect on your hormones. Look at Greek yogurt compared to donuts. Look at a bowl of rice compared to rice and beans, which is more calories. That'll keep your insulin levels lower because fiber reduces your insulin spikes. Fiber also reduces your urge to snack. Look how snacks raise your insulin and with meals you spike it. Now when you're sleeping, you're actually burning more fat for fuel compared to when you're snacking all the time. And yes, fruits will spike your blood sugar as well. Look at the difference of a pineapple as a snack compared to pineapple with your meal. Also, look what happens when you start fasting. Your insulin levels start to drop almost immediately. So lower insulin equals lower storage mode, more energy, less hunger. You eat less calories and you lose weight. Focusing on that alone is a recipe to fail.